What's going on you guys? For today's video, I'm going to be discussing the latest news on the Shelby GT500. Now in my last video, I showed you a clip of me asking the Mustang chief engineer about the next GT500. So Carl, could you tell me anything about an upcoming 2019 GT500? No. All we're here to talk about is uh, the 19 bullet today. Now keep in mind, this video was recorded the day before the release of the teaser trailer. And at that time, no one from Ford was giving information on the car. But recently, a new video has surfaced of Ford's performance marketing manager discussing the next GT500. And when I heard what he said about the car, I couldn't believe it. Now be sure to check out the original video. I'll leave a link in the description. So to give you guys a background, Barrett Jackson recently had an auction in Scottsdale, Arizona. And one of the cars sold was the first bullet Mustang. The car ended up going for $300,000, and all of the proceeds went to charity. Now, of course, many other cars were sold that day, but that's not the focus of this video. A YouTube user uploaded this video from the Barrett-Jackson auction. We see a group of people in a Ford Performance booth, but what makes this gathering special is the fact that the Ford Performance marketing manager and the Shelby American president talk about the Shelby GT500. So let's take a closer look at the video and try to diagnose the comments made. So at the beginning, Scott Black tells the group that Ford is coming out with a new GT500. Ford is going to build a GT500. I work in the garage where it's at. So the first person to talk is Jim Owens, who just so happens to be the Ford Performance Marketing Manager. He says that he worked in the garage where the GT500 is at. There's a video out if you haven't seen it. And that's all we can tell you, other than it is coming, right? Well, there's actually a little more they can tell us. First up is Jim Owens. He starts out by telling us how important the GT500 is to Carroll Shelby's legacy. Before Carroll passed away, one of the things that he was talking about with Mark Fields and Jim Farley and Raj and the group is that we would never do a vehicle that did not meet Carroll and Shelby's performance requirements. Carroll Shelby is the man who gave the Mustang performance credibility. So it's very important to Ford that they meet the requirements that Shelby would expect. And I will tell you, because I'm not allowed riding them yet, but I know a lot of the guys in the garage. Jim accidentally said that he's not allowed to ride them yet. But what he meant to say was he's not allowed to drive them yet. Listen to the next thing he says. I've ridden in one. It will definitely meet those requirements. <laughs> so this is a nice piece of information to hear. The next Shelby GT500 will meet Carroll Shelby's expectations. But the next thing that Jim said shocked me. And I sent a note to one of our PR people about that car that said, Venom kills demons. Hold on, let's play that again. Venom kills demons. Venom kills demons. You heard that right. The Ford Performance Marketing Manager just said, Venom kills demons. Venom kills demons. Now the way I interpret this is that the next GT500 will beat the Dodge Demon. In my previous video, I discussed this possibility. And if you remember, I said that the Dodge Demon is specifically designed to dominate on the drag strip. What many people believed was that Ford wasn't targeting the Demon as much as it was the Camaro ZL1, which does very well on the track. We know that Ford wants the next GT500 to be an all-around performer, not only good on the drag strip, but also good on the track. The only problem was, we didn't know how far Ford would take it. As of right now, we know the GT500 will be over 700 horsepower, but how much over 700 horsepower is still a mystery. I think the most telling sign that the GT500 will beat the Demon is just how confident this guy is. Venom kills demons. You don't make bold statements like this unless you can back them up, especially if you're the marketing manager for Ford Performance. Jim obviously knows something that we don't, and that makes me even more excited for this car. The next GT500 will outperform the Dodge Demon, but whether that means only on the track or on both the track and the drag strip is still a debatable question. That's what I make of this statement, and if you guys disagree, let me know in the comments below. So, we're on our way. <laughs> Even the way he laughs shows that he's totally confident in that statement. The next person to speak was Gary Patterson, who happens to be the president of Shelby American. Now, he doesn't talk a whole lot about the car, but listen to the very first thing he says. Oh. 
that part too. So uh, yeah, 2020, it's gonna be real exciting. What Gary just told us is that the GT500 will be released for the 2020 model year. In the teaser trailer, we could see that it said arriving in 2019. But even though it says this, it doesn't necessarily mean we won't see it for the 2019 model year. Ford revealed the 2016 GT350 back in 2014, but a limited number of GT350s were built for the 2015 model year. It was an extremely limited run, 100 GT350s and 37 GT350Rs. So if Ford repeats this strategy, we might see a limited run of 2019 GT500s. So no matter what, the car will arrive in 2019, but whether it will come out as a 2019 model or a 2020 model is still unknown. Yeah, 2020, it's gonna be real exciting. The last thing Gary tells us is the significance of the 700 plus horsepower title. I think the end of the video is telling as well because uh, the last thing that you see on the video, if you haven't seen it already, is 700 plus. <laughs> Just keep in mind, plus. So after examining this video, I would say Ford is ready to take on the demon. Venom kills demons. So what are your thoughts on the GT500? Will it outperform the demon? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching this video. Venom kills demons. Yes!